What's going on everyone? By the way, new camera. Um, today I wanted to talk about a couple things I discovered in Zathura, my PDF reader. So I've been using Zathura as my default PDF reader since I downloaded LARBs and have been using the system for almost a year. I really like it, but there are several things that I've found and some things today that are really useful and that I really like and find interesting. Um, I also just recently downloaded screen keys so you can see some of the stuff and the key bindings that I'm using. So let's look at what I got here. Screen key. All right, so Zathura is, um, I don't remember if Luke actually configured some of the key bindings for this to be more Vim-like, but it looks like according to the man page that it is by default pretty similar to the Vim key bindings. Um, you can do a lot of different things. You can see like down here in the bottom right, I'm on page 20 of 336. Uh, if I went and did some of the Vim key bindings, GG, I go to the top of the document, page one, capital G goes down to the bottom. Um, if I wanted to jump to a specific page, one cool thing about Zathura is that if I was on page 20 and I just quit the document and, go, and come back a month later, um, it will remember I was on page 20 and then I will be returned to page 20. So I really like this because you can just drop something, pick it right back up right where you left off. But say you want to jump to a specific page. Like I was on page 20 when I started. So I'm on page one right now, but I can go to any page I want by just typing colon 20. You know, now I'm on page 20. Um, you can do HJKL to move your document. Um, I have to be zoomed in uh, past the borders, but you can do uh, H or H J K L to move your uh, document in all the directions. Uh, if I hold shift H and J or I, I can never remember which key it is J and K, it'll zoom me in and out. Uh, so it has to be shift J and K. So uh, you can also, I think you have to be like in full mode for that. No. Um, one of the cool things I recently discovered is you can also invert uh, the color of Zathura. Um, I forget how. I don't usually do it because um, ah, I, I for invert. Um, so it'll actually do this for like a night reader. So all I did was press the I key and it'll actually invert your colors for you. Um, I don't really use this too much because it doesn't really bother me sometimes, um, but it is nice to know that I have it and that you can have it. Um, you can follow links in here by doing F. Uh, I usually don't really have a need for that oftentimes. Usually I can just have, I just have stuff in my terminal and then I just do Alt L with ST and you know get, get my links and go that way. Um, but one thing I really found cool and that I discovered today is that if you have a structured PDF and likely this is also like by default, I think with LaTeX compiled documents, which this is actually my um, college stats class textbook that I'm actually re-reviewing. Um, I know that a lot of the documentation that the uh, instructors wrote for this class, including this textbook was probably uh, written with LaTeX because the um, some of the R examples for the R material, if you were doing the class while using R programming, were written with Sweeve, which is um, R code embedded into LaTeX and compiled that way. So structured PDFs. If you hit tab while in a structured PDF, it'll actually show you the index. So if you're like in Adobe, don't use Adobe. If you're in Adobe uh, PDF reader, you can actually go and view the you know table of contents of your document and actually jump to different sections. Uh, it's like bookmarks, but without it being a bookmark, it's a table of contents. But with this, you can do the same Vim key bindings, HJKL, to collapse and um, traverse up these trees of table of contents. And if you actually want to go somewhere, all you have to do is, I think, either space, um, but I just enter. Um, say I want to go to categorical data and other kinds of studies. I can just hit enter, and there I am. Now I'm at that part of the document, page 84. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in the man page. Like normally I don't really go in depth into man pages. I just try to skim for what I want or I use um, like TLDR uh, is a, I think a Git repo I installed for um, 
different things. And TLDR is like community driven man pages for just simple examples of commands. Um, it'll go and fetch something. So nothing for Zathura, but if I did like something common like LS, um, it'll give you like some basic examples of how to use LS. Um, this was really useful for me when I was doing SED, uh, when I was learning more about SED for stream editing. I really like TLDR, but if I need more like meaty documentation on something. I need I need to know more about it. Uh, I tend to just skim the man pages. And honestly, the man page for Zathura is not intimidating. I went through this and I just looked at the, some of the commands and things that I would actually use. It's not that bad. I really enjoy Zathura as uh, my PDF reader. And if I remember correctly from some of the stuff that um, Luke said in his videos is that Zathura can read from standard out which means that's why you can actually just have a graph document compile on the fly and shoot into Zathura. So I really like this as my PDF reader. I do all of my reading through here. And if I'm editing um, LaTeX documents, um, I am usually you know, compiling on the fly and then um, You know, it's in Zathura. And if I hit tab on my own document that I compiled in LaTeX, you can see that I have all of these tables of contents exactly where they were. And it works. So, yeah. Highly recommend Zathura. Check it out. Have fun.